I finally finished my workout. And as you guys know, I always have my sweet protein shake right after to replenish them glycogen stores, to get them energy, get that energy back up, to get them calories in so I can make them gains. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to finally make this video so you guys can actually enjoy your protein shake slash weight gainer shake whatever you want to call it okay so i'm gonna try my best to put the macros on the screen as a matter of fact what am i saying i'm using my fitness pal right here i'm going to show you guys exactly how i make it and how much calories protein carbs fats are in the shake okay so usually i don't actually count the macros or count the calories i just eyeball it but for the sake of the video i'll show you guys the exact macros of what this shake has so let's get into it so these are pretty much all the ingredients that i use in my whey protein mix of course you don't see the whey protein here but i'll be getting it when i show you guys the measurements on my dusty ass weight scale that i don't even use but for the sake of this video i need to count the macros for you guys and show you guys how to make it so you guys can enjoy your protein shake or weight gainer this is what I use to put all of my ingredients in, okay? By the way, my whey protein is right there, but we'll get back to that real soon. So, of course, I use my hippie ass milk, as Chris Jones will say. I use two cups of that. I use just over it, a tablespoon of peanut butter. I use cinnamon, nutmeg. And I use this for like measuring and oats. So, in this container right here, this is two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. That's just to add the spices and the flavor to it, as well as the peanut butter. It really brings out the flavor. So if you guys don't really like peanut buttery uh, shakes, this video really isn't for you. So the first thing I always do is add in my oats. Let's see how many grams I'll go up to. I usually try to fill this up like halfway. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. More. When I used to measure it, I used to do 40 grams. Is this 40? Let's get 40. Okay, let's try this. Let's see how much this is. That's perfect. I always use 40 grams, 41 grams, whatever. That's what I use. That's the first thing I always start off with. Then I just throw in a scoop of whey protein. I don't really care about measuring it, but uh, what is that? It's supposed to be 35 grams, but whatever. It's two freaking grams. Like, I ain't that anal about it. No homo, though. Then I take my spices. I throw them shits in there, voila, nice and easy, uh, some of it got stuck but whatever. Then I put the peanut butter in, but here's the thing, when I actually make it myself without the scale, because I don't use the scale, what I would do is, I would actually put all of the ingredients in here, so the milk, the ice, all the ingredients, and then I will put the peanut butter in so that it doesn't get stuck to the container. So when I put the peanut butter in here, it will typically get stuck on the sides. So I just throw it straight into the blender. But for the sake of the video, I want to measure for you guys so you guys can see the macros. You see guys, when I say I use a teaspoon, sorry, a tablespoon, yeah, I'm bullshitting. This is, what, two and a half tablespoons? Let's see how much this really is. Because one tablespoon is supposed to measure at 15 grams, right? That means 100 calories. So let's see how much this is. Shit. I had no clue this is how many grams of peanut butter I actually use. Like, that's a typical scoop I would take when I use my peanut butter. Like, look at this. I freaking scooped the shit out of that. So yeah, guys, round it up to 50. So I'll make sure I put it in uh, my fitness pal and I'll show you guys the, the macros. So I'm about to go throw this into the blender. So for every cup of milk that I decide to put into my shake, which is usually two now, I put one cube of, one ice cube basically. So two cups of milk, two cubes of ice cream. I mean, what am I saying? <laughs> two cubes of ice, ice. Man, I am so freaking messed up, man. My diet sucks, that's why I'm saying ice cream. Anyway, so I put the ice in first. I always put the ice in first. One time, one button was stuck, so the ice kind of just like, is spun and the ice just flew out the uh, the blender and got effed up. But anyway, let's pour the milk in. So two cups of milk, and I got the measurements on my blender already, so I don't actually have to pour it into a measuring cup or anything. Woo! Okay, two cups of milk. Boom. Damn, this cup, 
thing is heavy, bro. Come on, two cups of milk. Okay, boom. That's two cups of milk right there. Then I get my spices, my peanut butter. I throw them shits in. And you see how it got stuck? So that's where I gotta pull out the spoon and scrape it in. But now you guys see how I made my shake. Of course, this took this took way longer since I'm recording the video. I would have been done the drink by now, but whatever. I want you guys to see how I make gains. I want to help you guys make gains because I'm going to be the biggest bodybuilder on YouTube. So after you put everything in, all you do is pulse it. So I pulse it for a while. And then I let it blend for about 60 to 120 seconds. So one minute to two minutes in between there. Just blend it for a good while so that all of the oats and everything just blends up well. Because if you don't blend it long, then it's going to be one thick ass pudding shake and you're not going to enjoy it. Okay, so blend it for about two minutes. So this legit blended for like three minutes because while it was blending, I was washing out the dishes I used. I used cold water to wash my cup every time so that, you know, just, I just do that. I like to like run my cup under cold water just to make it taste a little bit more better. Like I don't want to drink my shake with a warm cup. And while I was doing that also, while I was blending, I was calculating all the macros, right? So basically it came up to two cups, right? Two cups of milk. Sorry, let me actually fix the oats because the oats was actually 40 grams, right? 40 grams. And for those of you guys who don't use my fitness pal, you guys can try if you actually really want to calculate macros and stuff. I don't use it because I just eat whatever I want to bulk. But for the sake of those you you know you want to count macros and stuff, try my fitness pal. It's pretty handy. I use 3.3 3 tablespoons or what was it 50 grams of peanut butter came up to 333 calories. I used 30 mill milliliters of, what is it? That was two tablespoons. So 30 milliliters of sugar, which came up to like 100 gram, 100 calories. And then the oats was 40 grams, so 160 calories. And total was 838 calories, 80 carbs, 37 fat, 42 protein. The fat came from the freaking peanut butter, but whatever, I don't really care. And that's a good number, that's a good amount of fiber. And what's that sugar? 48 grams of sugar. <laughs> but whatever, like it's a, it's a weight gainer. It tastes freaking good. And you guys don't have to force yourself to drink freaking protein powder and water, right? On top of that, if you want to get up to like a thousand calories uh, for your post-workout, have a banana. So I'm pour it in. And of course, there's still more inside, but I'll drink it after I drink some of this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it actually helps you guys enjoy your post-workout meal. Or your post-workout shake, whatever you want to call it. It tastes damn good, and I enjoy it myself. So, you guys try it out. It's about 850 calories, not to be exact, but hey, that's a lot of freaking calories in one freaking shake. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Cheers! And I'll talk to y'all next time. Done.